Well, we're going to find out what that surging is. Thanks. Okay, my friends, I got carried away without you. The whole carburetor assembly seemed to, to be loose. So this is the bracket with that hole there, oh, with that hole there, right? You see that mounting hole uh, moving it, goes onto that hole there. And this mounting hole here, the bolt is sheared right off. You see that? And that is probably why it's been running a little bit lean. So this was a good, good trouble, man. Right there. I undid the plastic feeder tube and I undid this bolt and the whole thing started flopping because this bolt right there is broken off right at the stud. That's the second time I've seen that on Briggs and Stratton Quantums. Come on, you old lawnmower mechanics. Have you ever seen that before? So now I've got to get that out of there. It's a quarter inch thread. I might be able to drill backwards or use a... Not an easy out. They're never easy. <laughs> so I'm just going to think about this for a bit, you guys. I'm glad I found it. The whole thing has always seemed a little loosey-goosey because it's only been held on with one bolt, right? And look at that, I just found a hunk, of, a hunk of silicone. So somebody's been trying to goop this together too. So this has been a major job. And that's okay, I don't mind it. You know, you learn, this is where you learn, guys. Right there. I gotta get that bolt out of there. There it is. I wanna drill that with a smaller drill bit first. Am I getting anywhere on that? Might need a new bit. Slightly bigger one, maybe, too. Although I got lots of small ones. So let's just get a new drill bit out. Hmm. I might have to step up the size of the drill bit. How far did we get? I'm just using up battery and cards and cameras and okay, let's have a little looky woo. Have I got any light lift in this thing? Yeah. Oh, I've gone up. I gotta go down now. Gosh, it might go. Tapper. And then a tiny, what is that, a quarter inch? That'll be a crescent wrench then. Jimbo, I gotta use your crescent wrench. Might be it, guys.
I think it's coming. There's nothing easy about an easy out. Now these are snap-ons. They're much better quality than my other ones. Are we getting somewhere? Have I got a ridge there? Oh, I see. Yes, it has come a little bit. I am going to drill that a bit more down. Da, 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 da. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I think we get in here, eh? It's a good thing I don't make money at this hobby. Okay, Jim, I need your crescent wrench. Jim, from not too fast for you to see, gave this me, gave me this crescent wrench. the center on that. That's too bad. I'm going to try something now. A radical. I think I'm cutting aluminum there, not uh, steel. <laughs> Are you guys still watching this? Yes, you are. That's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> Add it! Well, I should almost be able to grab that now. Broke out the block. Okay. The action is right here. This hole is stripped out. The bolt broke off. And I think you saw me trying to extract it. There's no way. And I truly believe if I... I've got a rivet in here. Drilled to about three-eighths of an inch into the block, the same distance as the old bolt. I was going to thread a quarter-inch bolt or a 1032 into there, but I think 
it's just it'll be just too much damage to the area and it'll end up busting out again so I've got a rivet so it's all lined up there's this piece of sheet there's this piece of tin or metal or whatever it is and I'm just gonna push this rivet in good like that and I'm gonna try all right let's just see if this thing is gonna seat There, that looks better. Nice and square. I'm going to just torque that 3 8 bolt down a little bit. So oh, it is. Okay, so that's what was flapping around, causing the vacuum leaks too, eh guys? So we're going to go for it. Okay. I think that's going to work. Thanks a lot, guys. Okay, I've got the carb on. I'm just going to put everything back together. I'm just putting the uh, rewind on and the hood. Uh, gas line, the air filter and primer intake mechanism, and we'll see how she runs. So you guys have seen me do this before, so I won't have to put you through that. Well, I think we're there, guys. I... Uh, we have primer. It even sounds good. They have a sound that they make, eh? So I'm going to lower this down and we're going to see if it starts. And not surges. Alright, I just switched to new gas all the way around. Mine and his. Mine's from last last year too, eh? Give it a squish. in a bit. 
Okay, there's no more slack in this. This was wiggling, eh? And I think it was letting air in. I got, I got a new plug-in. Doesn't seem to make any difference whatsoever. Back you guys up. This is the maiden voyage. I just changed the oil. Five squirts should do it. It should start. Make sure I don't break my elbow. Well, it seems to start good after it's warmed up, so uh, tomorrow will be the full test and I'll call my buddy and he can come and pick it up. I'm done. I've tried as much as I can. It might have low compression. I don't have a leak down tester. I talk too fast. I don't have a leak down tester, which I think is next on my, on my uh, purchases. So it could just have low compression from, from the piston rings because I did the valves and all that, right? So anyway, thanks a lot for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. So this is very interesting. This is the intake manifold. It goes from the intake intake uh, valve across the top of the motor, and that circular part is what you see. And if you turn this over, the vibration has caused a hole in this tube right there. So that. That's what's caused our vacuum leak all this time, guys. Thanks a lot. We got company.